Welcome to Electro Online. Our next example deals with two cars. The first car is traveling at a constant speed of 33 meters per second and passes a second car that's stationary, so starting from rest, and begins to accelerate the moment the first car passes by. By the time the first car reaches a distance of 2,500 meters, the second car will have caught the first car. The question is, what is the acceleration necessary for the second car in order to catch the first car after 2,500 meters? So what we can say in this case is that the time spent for the first car and the time spent for the second car is the same. So T1 is equal to T2. And we can also say that distance covered by the first car must equal distance covered by the second car, which in this case is going to be 2,500 meters. So if that's the case, what we can do is we can, call, we can solve for the distance traveled by both cars separately. We can say distance 1 is going to be equal to the velocity of the first car times the time spent. And we know the distance and we know the velocity, which means that in this case we can actually solve for the time. The time, oop, let's put an arrow there, the time is going to be equal to distance 1 divided by velocity 1. So distance 1 is going to be 2,500 meters and velocity 1 is 33 meters per second. So in this case, we're going to know how long it's going to take for the car 1 to get there and also for car 2 because the time will be the same. So 2,500 divided by 33 is... 75.75, so 75.758 seconds. So that's the amount of time it takes for both cars to get to a distance of 2,500 meters. Then distance two, since there is only an acceleration, there's an acceleration here, we can say that distance two, d2, is equal to the initial distance plus the initial velocity times time plus one half the acceleration times time squared. But since there's no distance traveled at time equals zero, this goes to zero, and there's no initial velocity for car two, so therefore it only depends on the acceleration term. So distance two is going to be equal to one half the acceleration times the time squared. Now we know what the time is because it's the same for the time for the first car. And we know the distance because that's the same for as the first car. So we can solve this equation for A. So that means that A is going to be equal to 2 times the distance divided by the time squared. So in this case, that's 2 times 2,500 meters divided by 75.758 seconds. And we have to square that. And let's see here. So that square that number put in the denominator, times 5,000 equals, and we have an acceleration of 0 0.87, 0 0.87 meters per second squared. And just to make sure we get that correct, let's plug that in our equation and see if we do indeed get the distance of 2,500 meters. So we divide this by two, and we multiply it times the time, 75.758 squared equals, and I do get 2,500 meters, so it looks like that is indeed the correct um, acceleration, which is what we're looking for. And that's how it's done.